In 1995, two men who met at Stanford University would come together, Sergey Brin and Larry Page, to create one of the most successful companies ever, Google. Google began to form in January 1996 as a research project by Larry Page and Sergey Brin, both PhD students at Stanford University in California. Their goal was to create a more efficient search engine for computers. While regular search engines based results off of how many times the web page had been searched, Larry and Sergey came up with a more accurate search by counting the number of links to the page to estimate how important that website is. They would name their new search engine Backrub, but eventually would come up with the name Google from a misspelling of the word Google, which means the number one, followed by a hundred zeros. This name was picked to represent that the search engine would provide a large quantity of information on a wide variety of subjects to its viewer. The name Google was registered on September 15, 1997, and the company would be incorporated on September 4, the very next year. Later on, in August 19, 2004, a third member of the crew would come. Eric Schmidt agreed to work at Google for 20 years until the year 2024. With him, they would go on to create Google AdSense in 2003. This allowed advertising platforms for websites and would become a huge moneymaker for Google, bringing in about 30% of their revenue. Then, in 2004, they would go on to create Gmail. Gmail is a free search-based email service and originally would give users one whole gigabyte of free storage. As of today, though, a user can hold up to 15 gigabytes of free storage and can buy more if they need to. After Gmail, Google would create Google Maps in 2005 and in 2006 made a risky decision, but went along with it and bought a company for $1.65 billion. I believe they made the right decision, because this company now has over 1 billion users. This company is... YouTube. YouTube allows users to upload, view, and share videos. You could also give feedback to the creator by liking, disliking, and commenting on their video. YouTube also has a wide variety of video types. Some of these include educational, gaming, funnies, music, and even some great trick shot videos. And the list literally goes on and on and on. Every minute, 300,000 hours of new videos are uploaded. And every day, people watch hundreds of millions of hours of YouTube. Now these tell me two things. One, YouTube is very popular, and two, people need to get a life. After YouTube, in 2007, Google Street View debuts in five major U.S. cities, New York, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Miami, and Denver. Street View was a feature on Google Maps and Google Earth that allowed you to view the world from a 3D panoramic point of view. Today, Street View is available in more than 50 countries. Some, however, would argue that this is an invasion of privacy, so Google added a button on the bottom right corner to report any problems you find in Street View. In 2008, Google came out with Google Chrome, a freeware web browser originally made for laptops, but is now on multiple different devices. In 2010, Google adds TrueView into YouTube, a new kind of ad. After five seconds, if it doesn't intrigue you, you can skip it. Thank you, YouTube, because now we don't have to sit through 30-second ads before every single video we watch about stuff we don't care about. And that's why today I'd like to announce uh, the Google Glass Explorer Edition. The Google Glass, one of Google's latest creations. It can perform many different tasks, such as checking the time, recording a video, sending a message, looking up images, checking the weather, taking a picture, and many, many more. Google also likes to have some fun every year. Doodle for Google is a competition open to all students. They get handed just a blank sheet of white paper that says Google on it. Their job is to turn that blank sheet of paper into something very creative and colorful. Usually, they have a theme to go by every single year, and the winner of the whole event gets their image on the Google homepage. Google has grown and changed a lot over the years since its beginning in 1998. 
It's given us quicker ways to find information, tools to explore the world, advancements in technology, and many, many more. And would go down in history as one of the greatest and most successful companies ever. Oh yeah, and they have some pretty awesome Easter eggs. They do the Harlem Shake.